Good morning, good afternoon, good whatever, wherever you may be. It's story time once again. And this book is called Ribbit. And it has a message. As otherwise I wouldn't be reading it to y'all. The book is called Ribbit. Once upon a time, there was a pond that was home to a family of frogs. It was their pond, and they were very happy living there. But one morning, they discovered a surprise visitor. It was a pig, a little pink pig, sitting on a rock. Goodness, said the frogs, why is there a pig in our pond? They whispered amongst themselves until finally the chief frog spoke up. Ahem, good morning. What can we do for you? And to their amazement, the little pig answered, Ribbit. What did he say? cried the frogs. This pig is confused. Does he think he's a frog? Is he making fun of us? But again, all the little pig said was Ribbit. Much to their amazement. News of the little pig, who thought he was a frog, spread fast, and all the animals hurried to the pond to see the visitor. This new relative of yours is a little pink, said the raccoon. He is no relative of ours, declared the frogs. He certainly sounds like a frog, said the weasel. Why would... A pig want to be a frog, said the parrot. What? And what's wrong with being a frog? May we ask, exclaimed the frogs. Everyone started shouting at each other, completely ignoring the little pig. who just sat there practicing his ribbit. The animals laughed and laughed, and the frogs got angrier and angrier, until finally the chief frog shouted out, Stop! We are not getting anywhere by fighting. We must go and find the wise old beetle. He'll know what to do. The wise old beetle? Gasped all the animals. But he hates to be disturbed. I know, said the chief frog, but this is very serious. That's true, the animals agreed. And off they went. And the little pig said, Ribbit. He looks like a happy little pig, doesn't he? Friendly. The animals found the wise old beetle and tried to explain the problem. All the frogs, the curious little raccoon, mystified, the weasel, a parrot, a parrot, a parrot that hangs with his clan, or 
tribe. It was hard for him to understand because they were all talking at once. In the end, he agreed to go with them to the pond. But when they arrived, Where did the pig go? the animals cried. Who was he? What did he want? Maybe, said the wise old beetle, he just wanted to make new friends. And off he went. Oh dear, said the animals. They hadn't thought of that. A duck. We have yet to see a duck. Or have we? Sun setting. The animals are gathering around a tree to eat. And sure enough, sitting on a branch high up in a tree nearby was the little pig. Tweet. Tweet, 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 tweet. He was surrounded by new friends. And that, my friends, is the end of the story called Ribbit. This is a scholastic book written by Rodrigo Fulguero and illustrated by Polly. Bernatine Ribbit. Thank you for watching.